Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a very, very special bottle here on my cask. It's different. Well, it's a single grain whiskey, not a single malt whiskey. It's a single grain whiskey, which means today, well, most often is produced from uh, wheat and 90% uh, wheat and 10% malt. And uh, the malt is in that mixture uh, to fasten up uh, the malting process of the wheat. But from time to time, or the bigger the distillery is, uh, the more often the wheat is cooked so that the uh, starch is cut into sugars uh, by heat. Well, this is the Girvan distillery, which is in the southwest of the lowlands in Scotland. And uh, this whiskey is matured first in ex bourbon casks for uh, roughly 10 years and then three months in very, very small octave casks. Means uh, you take staves from sherry casks and then you cut them down to smaller pieces and then you fabricate casks with a volume of only 50 liters. This is really, really, really a small volume for the massive oak you have around that volume. So the maturation in those very small octave casks is fast. Uh, then it's sherry cask. Uh, that means that you get a lot of influence of the heavy oak used for the sherry maturation. This together with the, uh, with the smooth, elegant, uh, grain whiskey this brings up well a very special matured whiskey um the price is between 40 and 50 euros dollars pounds and uh, on those labels of this uh, duncan taylor brand uh, they always say uh, bottle number one of 78 and that means does not mean that this is the first bottle of those 78 bottles. No, on every bottle on the label, it states one of 78. Uh, we uh, visited Duncan Taylor late 2017 and had a, a live stream from the, uh, from the facility. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, we, we told them that a few of our customers did not understand that it's one of 78. Um, so they promise they will put uh, a sequence number uh, on it in the future. Yeah, three months in octave casks and three months is really enough because in those small casks whiskey matures really fast because the relationship between the inner surface and the whiskey is very high. So there's a lot of inner surface per liter of volume and in a huge, in a big cask, the relationship between inner surface of the cask and the liters content is less. So the whiskey matured in those small octave casks faster. This is uncolored, unchill filtered, 53% ABV. And you can see by this dark color how fast the whiskey matures over those 10 years. And typically uh, the grain whiskey from those distilleries, sweet, uh, the grain whiskeys from those distilleries is matured in re refill casks. So most of the color uh, and the aroma should result, should come from the, uh, the small octave cask. Sweet, smooth, a lot of vanilla, sugar, and the 53 ABV no, not at all. It's so smooth because the grain whiskey is typically produced on column stills, which lead to a much smoother, cleaner alcohol that all those heavy aromas are left behind during the distillation process. And this sweet is like, like Turkish delight, these heavily sweet sweets from Turkey. And in the back, already a little bit of spiciness appears from the casks and the 53% still not smellable. 
So I try that neat is the second and the last one today. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Mouth watering sweet. And then oakiness kicks in. Popcorn. In former times, grain whiskey was produced from maize, U.S. corn. Um, but today, the yield is higher from wheat than from maize. So that is cheaper, even uh, if wheat is more expensive than maize. Uh, it's still cheaper to produce a grain whiskey from wheat because the yield is higher. So these remembrance of popcorn is something different. It might not come from maize. And there's a, a salty note, so it's salt popcorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in the aftertaste, there's some bitterness, um, but not too strong. It's marmalade. I think it comes from uh, from the sherry oak from the octave casts. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, oh, sweet. Sweet and, and popcorn. Toffee, vanilla. And this salty note. So it's so so different to typical malt whiskies. This grain whiskey, it's so sweet and, and fine in the beginning, and then with his maturation in those small casts, so intense. And Duncan Taylor has a special uh, bottling facility uh, where they empty the cask uh, through gravity. So there's, uh, with this, you can be sure that every drop of the whiskey, those 78 bottles, typically uh, 50 liters or 12 gallon, 13 gallon from those small octave casks, uh, every drop of that whiskey drains through the machinery into the receiver when you empty the cask and there is a, a no chill filtration but a rough filtration so that the whiskey will not contain any well small charcoal flakes or whatever um, that every drop really comes out and there's no mixture between the first small cask and the next small cask uh, this is different to other facilities where you bottle bigger casks like this one, where people say, well, if there is a mixture in between, don't worry, be happy. Uh, no, here they look that those small casks do not intermix with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Really different to the typical whiskies from Scotland. Yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, there's always more to come.